How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching this video. In this video I'll be taking a look at the Monarch series case from Urban Armor Gear for the iPhone 7 Plus. And before I get started I'd just like to take a second to thank Urban Armor Gear for giving me this opportunity to check out their product. Thank you guys. And for you guys, if you guys are interested in this product, if you like it and would like to check it out, I will have a link in the description below. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off by taking a look at the box that it comes in. Uh, it's a redesigned box, a little different than what they usually come in. A uh, new style case and they got a new style box for it. So that's pretty cool. We got the Urban Armor Gear logo here on the top. And uh, right down here we got a drop test two times military standard. So it meets the military standard spec by uh, two times which is pretty cool. And uh, down at the bottom right here, we have the Monarch series designed for the iPhone 7 slash 6S Plus. So that is pretty cool. Looking on the side here, we have a five layer protection Monarch series, a uh, little piece here. And on the bottom here, it shows the features that come in this case, impact resistant corners, feather light, easy access, traction grip, surround screen, and glare free flash. Take a look here at the other side. It talks about a rugged, lightweight, drop-tested protection, Urban Armor Gear, Monarch Series 5-layer protection. And looking on the back here, it takes you through all five different layers of protection. Five-layer protection as shown there. And the first layer is the armored frame. Uh, second layer is the top grain leather. Third layer is the polycarbonate shear plate. Number four is the alloy metal hardware. And number five is the impact resistant rubber. So I'm just going to go ahead, open this up, and take a closer look. And so there we have it. Uh, the one that I have here is the graphite version. It comes in two versions for the iPhone 7 Plus. Currently, the two current uh, options to get are the platinum and the graphite. Platinum is a white one and the graphite is this more gray looking one. So uh, I had mentioned earlier some of the features, some of uh, what it's made out of type of composition stuff. Uh, it's got that kind of a harder plastic on the inside here. Uh, the outside, the edges are a like a silicone rubbery feel. So it does give it a little bit of uh, impact resistant. So if you were to get dropped, uh, some of this rubber slash silicone will take a bit of that impact for when it hits. Uh, and then looking on the back here, there's a little bit of a leather type of uh, texture down here. Uh, and there is a plastic shell out on the out there. And there are, I believe, some sort of alloy uh, little screws. I'm not quite sure what the function of those are, but it does give it a cool little design sleek look. So uh, that is kind of what it's made out of. The quality of it feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's a cheaply made case. So that is always a plus. Uh, and it looks great too. I personally like this design, really cool looking uh, design. So let's go ahead and install the phone and take a look at the openings, the buttons, stuff like that. And the way that I always install my phones is I get the side with the most buttons, which on this side there's a mute switch and the volume up down button. I'll get that side in first. Once that's in, the corners are in, I'll push the back side forward and press down simultaneously to get it to pop in. And just like that, it popped in. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the first side. And the first side here, there is a power button. There are the impact resistant corners, top and bottom. And as you guys can see, the power button is a different texture. There's a honeycomb texture here around the edge, which is pretty cool looking, looks kind of nice. And then the texture on the power button itself is a bit of a diagonal type of pattern. And as you guys can see, the power button does stick out ever so slightly past the edge of the case, which just makes it nice and easy to find when you are don't have no full control of the phone or just kind of trying to get a finger on the power button so that is cool i do like that little feature they added there i'm going to go ahead and look at the next side which is the bottom here it's got the openings for your speaker opening for your headphone jack slash charger for the iphone 7 plus uh, there's the opening for your speaker microphone everything else that's on this side and as you guys can see there is an additional round cutout for your traditional headphone jack, uh, keep in mind that this is designed for the iPhone 7 Plus as long as well as the iPhone 6S Plus. So just keep that in mind. That is why that cutout is there. So there we have that impact resistant corner. Back to the next side. It's got that honeycomb looking pattern. A little bit of a texture. Give it a little bit of extra grip, which is pretty cool. I do like that. And we got up here at the top, we got our volume up and down buttons. 
and they also stick out like the power button did. It is not a different texture, but it does stick out and it is easily accessible, easy to find as well. There's an opening uh, for your mute switch. It is nice and easy to get to. You can go ahead and slide it on and off uh, just with your finger without even having to get a fingernail in there. So that is pretty cool. I uh, find that nice uh, little feature there. And on the top, it's enclosed, nothing on the top. No features there to open up for, keeps it nice and fully protected. And as we look at the back, that cool design once again, the little leather peeking through the plastic here, Urban Armor Gear logo there in the middle. Got a few of these screws to give it a little bit of extra flair, kind of give it that extra cool look. Uh, it, there's a big opening here for the two cameras, the dual cameras that are on here, the microphone and the flash. And as you guys can see, that it is beveled going in, give it, giving it that uh, anti-glare flash uh, feature. So that is pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the front. And as we can see here on the front, there is a bit of a lip there on the phone which gives it an extra bit of durability, some extra strength, so to speak. Wraps kind of around the phone to a sense, to a degree. And if you were to drop it on its face or if it were to slide, it will not scratch the screen. The case does protect from that. So that's kind of my little brief overview, quick little look at Urban Armor Gear's case. So this is pretty cool. And once again, if you guys did like it, you guys can find a link in the description below. I will put that in the description. This is the Monarch Series case. It's designed for the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, and I'd just like to mention, if you are getting it for the iPhone 6S Plus, uh, you can see that it does look very nice and centered here with the iPhone 7 Plus. It will not be quite as centered. It will be just a little bit off. So keep that in mind. But other than that, it's a pretty cool, cool design phone. This is probably my favorite phone that Urban phone case that Urban Armor Gear uh, does make. It is really cool. It's nice, slim. Uh, X, you know, two times the drop test for a military spec. So that is really cool. Very awesome. So if anybody's looking for a medium-sized case that is nice, sleek, cool-looking, durable, strong, whatever you guys want to say. I like it. It's cool. I give it a thumbs up. So that's all I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did like this video, go ahead and subscribe to see more like it. And if you guys know somebody that might want to see this, you guys can go ahead and share it with them. Help them out. That will help me out as well. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. That's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.